This video demonstrates how to work with an exit strategy to make a machine distribute parts among its successors within a production line. As a rule, we will use an exit strategy instead of the default transfer behavior when the sequence of operations does not uniquely designate the next station that handles the part. To start modeling, we'll build a production line by inserting a source several instances of the stations, and a drain. We then connect them. To better detect the difference in behavior, we increase the processing time of Station 2 to 4 minutes. We want the station to transfer certain percentages of the parts it has processed to the machines that succeed it in the line. We want 20% of the output to go to Successor 1, the station named Station 1, 30% to Successor 2, the station named Station 2, and 50% to Successor 3, the station named Station 3. To do so, we open the station, click the tab Exit, and select the Strategy Percentage. We then click Apply. Now we can open the list and type in the percentages. The first successor receives 20%, the second successor 30%, and the third successor receives 50% of the parts. To realize the distribution of the parts regardless of the individual states of the successors, we have to select blocking behavior. To find out which is the first successor of the station, we place the cursor over the connector between station and station 1. This opens a tooltip showing the successor number of the station and the predecessor number of station 1 of this connector. To be able to check the percentages more easily, we open the source. On tab Attributes, select Number Adjustable and enter an amount of 1,000 parts. Run the simulation. After a few seconds, the simulation run will be finished and we can check the results. We select the stations by dragging a marquee over them. We then press F6 to open the statistics report. The number of entries reflects the desired percentages of 20%, 30%, and 50% out of 1,000 parts. Now we can also check the effect of non-blocking behavior. When we clear blocking in the station, it only moves the parts to those successors, which can accept one. Now we run the simulation again and check the statistics report. We see that the number of entries differs from the desired percentages because Station 2 has a longer processing time than the other stations. 
cards. Driven by digitalization.